Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our webinar today about COATS's online help. My name is Anja Giesbauer. I'm responsible for COATS's product management, and I hope you enjoy the webinar today. At first, I want to give you a short overview about what I will talk about within the next couple of minutes. At first, I want to show you some general short sources where you to find help for your work with codes. Then I will go on with showing you the function of help, which is integrated in the codes development system. And at the end, I will give you a short summary and outlook about further development concerning the online help. So let's start with um, where to find help for your work with codes. So of course, you can get help from us as the manufacturer of codes. So we provide a lot of different user services. On the one hand, of course, standard trainings. So if you're interested, for instance, in getting a training about basic programming or object-oriented programming or about Codes product, for instance, Codes is UML or Codes is of Motion or whatever. So you can um, come to Kempton and uh, listen to your standard training with one of our trainers. We also provide different user servers in the range of consulting or help for application development or at least customer specific services, meaning when you need help for a special project or um, for the structure of your project, or when you cannot develop a plugin, for instance, for codes by your own or project, so you can get a help from us. Um, when you want to uh, get some further details, you can go here on our website, on our training site. So here you find all information you need about the trainings, um, which kind kind of trainings we provide, and where you can purchase them. And also we have here um, a website for our codes as user services. So you get some detailed information about the user services we provide and also a nice brochure about the codes as user services. So when you need a direct partner at your country and uh, when maybe Germany is a little bit too far for you, we also have a network of CODES system partners and they also provide those kind of services for CODES users. Um, of course, there are also different sources for self-help. So if you need general product information, about our products, you can go to the CODES website. So if you want to know which different kind of products we have, you can go here on this website and search for, for different products. And as I said before, you find some basic information there. If you're interested in free applications examples, meaning how to structure projects, for instance, or how to use special functions and codes, you can go to our codes store. And within the codes store, you have a category called application. And here you find a, a big variety of codes example projects, which are for free. So, for instance, how to build up visualization dialogues or how to config a field bus or how to use soft motion functionality in codes and so on. So there you really find a lot of different examples to different topics. If you need um, detailed help on a special question, for instance, we have the codes forum. And there you can uh, register and post really detailed questions on special topics. And uh, you usually get help there from other users or even from employees from our company. So this is really uh, a nice source for help. And a lot of questions have already been asked. Of course, we also publish our webinars and video clips at our YouTube channel. And if you want to see them, you can here go. 
And of course, there are different functions of integrated help within the CODES development system, and I will go on with that. So there are different help functions in CODES, and of course, the basic source of help is the is the CODES online help you probably know for years. And um, let's have a short look on that. So. You get, of course, an overview of all help topics concerning codes. We provide the help in different languages, and you can switch between those languages. And um, you maybe know the function of context-sensitive help. So let's have a look on codes, how this is realized. So you can start the old online help uh, with this menu command. And as you probably know, you see here the contents of our help, so you can browse through the different topics. And if you, for instance, are in a special function of codes and you start the online help here with F1, find a help uh, directly uh, concerning this, this, this function in codes. So now you get help for the object library manager. So this you probably know already. Um, I also want to mention a very important function in codes, which is we are quite new, so we have that in for one or two years. So you have also help directly integrated in in your libraries. So um, when you are directly in the library manager, and you need to know some details about function blocks, for instance, which are realized in this library. You can click on this function block, for instance, and you see here the inputs and outputs of the function block, a graphical representation, and also some, some documentation here about how those inputs and outputs are used. And of course, so that's the main topic of today, we have now a new Codes Online help, and it's web-based. So let's say some general words. So we have a new web-based help, and this is the new standard help from Codes version 3.5 SP11, which was released last week. And uh, the biggest difference, of course, is that uh, you assess this online help via web browser or the internet. Um, of course, CODES is not always connected to the internet. Maybe uh, you're sometimes offline or uh, or even permanently, and so you still have access to the integrated auth help. And you can also permanently deactivate the web-based help in CODES via the menu. So, and I want to show you how we do this in CODES now. So you go to Tools and Options. And here you can enable or disable the, the web help. So, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, by default, the web help is enabled when you start with Codes version 3.5 SP11. So, we activate this option and start again. And when we now open the help, so you see, the help is opening in a browser, and yeah, so that's the biggest difference. So let's look on the function and properties of the new help. So the obvious thing is you have an open access via browser and internet, and it's really an open access. So you can not only open the help via codes, you just can write help.codes.com, and you really find it in the internet. So you can browse here, as you know it, from the old online help through the topics. Um, the really big advantage is that you have real links here, so you can set browser bookmarks on topics you are interested in, and you can also take those links and send it, for instance, to a colleague of yours uh, for your work and you can navigate through the codes help by the browser back and forward functions so this is this is quite nice so this is a much better navigation 
uh, than you had in the old online help before. And a big advantage will also be, so as we publish the help really online, that you will be able to find help contents via public search engines. As I said, you of course find again the overview of all help topics and what you have integrated is really a nice new full text search function, which is much better than in the, in the old online help. So for instance, when you go on with configuration, so you find all um, topics here related to the to the word configuration and you can go in here directly and for instance take this link and and send it by email to Kli. Okay, and of course the known functionality of codes context sensitive help is still available. So when you for instance here in the library manager and you press F1 you will be directly directed to the part of the object library manager. So this functionality is still the same, uh, no matter if you use the old or the new web-based online app. So something which is quite new and uh, really helpful is the direct language or direct version switching. So when you now go to the help, to the online help, you are here located in the object library manager. You can directly online go to another language. For instance, here it's German. So within every object within the help, you can switch language. And also the version. Uh, so the version of the help concerning the codes version. Of course, we uh, only published the version now with, S with SP11, so no other help version is available at the moment. But when we go on with codes versions, you will here be able to switch between those codes versions. So you get really the help of the version of codes you're working with. And uh, this is something quite new because usually you had only a fixed content of your help um, delivered together with your codes set up. And also the direct language switch switching is something quite useful because in the old online help integrated in codes, you always had to restart uh, the online help for language switching. So this is quite useful. What we also integrated is a direct feedback function. So if you want to, um, for instance, tell us something about a bug in the text, or maybe you have an idea to improve the help because something is missing or something is hard to understand, you can directly use this feedback button. And what is happening is that an email is opened uh, directly to the address of help feedback at coaches.com and together with the link of the site you're on. So and now you can um, put on some comments here and we know exactly to which site your comment is related to. So what else do we do? Of course, um, this is a, a web-based online help, so we use the new web technologies, especially the responsive web design. So you can enter the codes as online help also via tablets or smartphones, and you still have a good look. And for instance, when I show you here a little bit of the functionality, so when we make the browser a little bit smaller, then you see that the view is, is changing a little bit. So And now you have this browser-like appearance. So you can build in the, in the dialogue here and the menu. OK. So when you make it greater, again, you have the full appearance like you usually have it when you use it on a browser in the PC or laptop. So have a short look on a summary or comparison between the old and the new online help and some outlook. So 
what are the properties of the old and the new online help. Um, the assess obviously is worse than the old online help by an integrated codes as viewers, so some proprietary viewer. And now the new web-based online help is available via web browser and the internet. But if you're working offline with Codesys, you still have the integrated old Codesys online help viewer as a fallback. So uh, if you're interested in the format, um, the old online help is in CHM format and the new one in HTML. The search is getting much better. So we had in the old online help a proprietary search and new and now in the new online help we have an integrated search open source search engine and this is much better than before the content of course is a little bit different so in the old online help we had a fixed content within each codes version so the content was fixed to the the setup of your codes version and uh, within the web-based online help, we have the possibility to publish uh, help content independent of codes of the codes release cycle. And as I showed you before, we have this direct version switching within the codes uh, help browser. Um, language switching was possible with the old online help, but only by a reload of the online help. And within the new web-based online help, we have a really direct version switching possible. Um, context sensitive help, uh, yeah, is still the same. So it was directly integrated in Codesys and it's still in the new web-based web online help. So there is no different behavior. And concerning feedback, um, there was no possibility before to comment on our help directly. And now, as I showed you, you have this integrated feedback function. So to give you a short outlook of what we will do in the future with the online help, um, we have to do a little technical adaption for the website so that the content can be assessed via public search engines. And our goal is that it is really simple to discover help content for Codesys users. So um, we think that in future, probably you just go to a public search engine, type in there some Codesys words you're looking for, and hopefully discovering the help in our Codesys online help. Um, we want to, as a second step, develop an integration concept for device manufacturers who want to host our online help by themselves, maybe on external servers, or um, people who want to integrate our content together with uh, external help content. So we will provide a solution for that by end of the year. And um, concerning our internal help process, we want to have an codes as independent maintenance maintenance of the help content, meaning um, we want to be able to make fast bug fixings independent of the codes as release cycle. So when there is a bug in the codes as help, uh, we want we want to fix it immediately. So thank you for your attention. We are still available in the chat, so if you have some questions, then feel free to ask them. So, thank you. Bye.